Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. So I'm working on this little project that I will be sharing with you pretty soon. Uh, I'm super excited about it. But either way, there is one thing that has always annoyed me in Laravel. So um, I have this, I'm sorry, I have this uh, little controller here. And, um, you know, I always use Laravel's resources. There is one problem with them, though. Um, that problem is that whenever you pass a null to a resource, it will throw an error. So uh, in this example, you can see that the return type of this function is a user or a null. And if we pass it to user listing resource, uh, what we'll get uh, when we try and execute it is uh, attempt to read property ID on null. And this happens because uh, Laravel, under the hood, uh, whenever it's resolving uh, our resource, it's calling this to array method. And, um, you know, we, we want to implement this to array knowing that something is there, basically. So uh, what they are doing by default, right, is uh, checking if the resource is null. And if that's the case, they are returning an empty array. However, in user land, you would have to, you know, create this in every single resource. And maybe that's fine for your project, but I don't really want to uh, to deal with that in every single resource that I have. So let me show you how we can how we can fix that. So I will just create something called, I don't know, uh, maybe a custom resource. And this custom resource will extend our JSON resource. And inside of here, we'll create a public function called toArray. This will receive the request based, uh, you know, because that's what the, the base method does. Um, and we'll paste this piece of information here and then we'll return this, I know, maybe data and pass the request. And, uh, you know, because data can obviously be undefined, we need to create it in our new contract. So what we can do is we can create an abstract function called uh, data that will get a request and return an array. And then so let's make it an abstract function here uh, so nobody can initiate a custom re uh, resource on its own. And in our user listing resource, when we change uh, the base JSON resource to our custom resource, this will be uh, handled out of the box as soon as we change that to array to data. If we go now here, and make a refresh, we are able to see that uh, we get our impersonator and that it is empty. So uh, we can under return type here as well. And by doing this, we basically uh, get the benefit of, you know, always being able to pass null into a resource. And uh, this is something that I want in my project. So now it's handled in every place. Now just every single resource must extend our custom resource. I imported the wrong one because I previously created uh, one for testing. Uh, so yeah, this one. Um, and what we can do now is go to Stabs, and inside of our Stabs, we can replace the JSON resource with custom resource and replace it with data. So this way, every single resource created by the, the artisan command will use our interface. And I don't really use resource collections, so um, I'm not going to implement it there. So uh, I'm not sure if this will be another video. Or if I will just paste it in, in the current one or, and re-upload it. I found a better solution to the problem. So um, you see how here the impersonator is returning an array. And, you know, when, when it's passed as a null, um, let me just show it to you. So yeah, this will be an all. You know, the problem is that it's never going to be an array. It's a single resource. So it should be either an object or null if it's not there. So I found a solution to fix that. And so let me show you how it works. If we uncomment this piece here, we can see that now it will be returned as null. And uh, the same will be true for... Where is it? If we like pass you know, null here, but have the additional. So in that scenario, also work, the data will be 
uh, passed as null. So this is exactly what we want. And the way I did it is I created this custom class called custom resource response. And um, it's going to be invoked from this two response method. So this class, uh, I have overwritten that wrap method, which um, by default doesn't handle nulls. Now it does. So uh, this piece here, this is empty, that's checking if no things are passed. Uh, is going to make sure that the data here is going to be passed as null. And then we need to go over additional data. And if they are an instance of our custom resource and they are null, the additional should also be null. So this uh, seems to be the perfect solution to the problem I had. Um, but yeah, there, there may be some edge cases where this wouldn't work. I'm yet to discover them, but I'm pretty excited about this. So I hope you guys did enjoy it and see you in the next one. Bye.